Here we go, this is the camera winch and uh, we're at Ladywood Lakes and this is going to be um, our initial test. So I've got, um, I've got a monitor screen, I've got a fish finder as well, just so I can show you what depths we're actually going to go down to. Uh, I've got a little tin of corn as well, just going to throw some of that out now and uh, see if we can uh, get down with the camera and, uh, and find it. So uh, it's going to be a bit hard to do this with a only one hand spare. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can get here. Right, a good handful of corn. Not going to go too far out. Somewhere around there. Let's put a bit more out. That should be a good patch there to find. Uh, let's see if we can uh, find it with the camera on the winch then. You can see I've got the camera winch mounted on the side of the boat. Uh, the winch weighs 550 grams, uh, so I had to counterbalance the uh, the other side of the boat with. I used a bag of nails, which also weighed 550 grams. Um, in the top left of the screen, you've got actually the live video that recorded uh, from the camera onto the monitor. Um, it's an SD card that goes into the monitor, and you know you can record all the footage. Now I've got that paired up with a, a BC151 fish finder, and this is a colour fish finder, and uh, I just thought I'd show this video alongside the fish finder just to sort of prove what sort of depths I was going down to. So with the winch system, um, it has its own handset. Um, it sends the radio signal to move the the winch up and down. And at Ladywood Lakes, it's pretty steep drop off as soon as you get in. So uh, I'm constantly having to move the camera down to um, to see the bottom. And you can see we're at six foot here, and we're just picking up the bits of corn. That I threw in earlier. Um, now we're at seven foot, and yeah, we can, we can still see the corn. Like I say, I keep having to move the winch down, lower the camera down a bit further, and I think we've actually gone over all of the corn. There's quite a strong wind here, um, so the boat was drifting out. It was it's really hard to control the boat, and you know keep it in one place all the time. Um, that's why the depth is going up and I keep I get you know, keep having to lower the camera even, even further down. But you can see we're at 10 foot now and I'm able to lower the camera right down 10 foot. We, we can clearly see the bottom and uh, yeah I think so far this is a successful test. Now in a second I've put some more video together of other things that I found there. We've, uh, we've got um, a crayfish here and it's just going to come into, into shot now. You can see uh, there's a, a big ass crayfish you know, having its dinner. And this, you've just, just gone past it now, that was, uh, that was my hook bait. Um, I was using a bit of meat on this occasion. and. I also managed to find my uh, flying back lead as well, so I think that's that's going to come up in this video in a second. There we go. Just coming into centre of screen now. That's the that's my flying back lead. Clearly see that on the camera. Now this is a, a hubcap. I don't know what car it's from, but it's it's definitely a hubcap, and um, you know if anyone's missing one, it's there. It's at the bottom of Ladywood Lakes in 15 foot of water. Like like I say, you know you don't have to go too far out at Ladywood, and you know the depths are phenomenal. And 
the rest of this video just shows you know what sort of depths we was getting down to we're at 16 foot here and yeah like i say just you just have to keep lowering the camera down as the depth increases it does look like the surface of the moon down there and honestly it is absolutely pitch black the camera is fitted with infrared um, which gives it uh, night vision so that's that's why the, the picture looks a bit black and white and, and that's purely because there's not enough natural sunlight getting down there you know for the lens in the camera to work so the the infrared automatically comes on at low light levels and this is what's giving us the picture down to 18 foot now and there's absolutely no signs of life whatsoever down here so god knows how the fish find stuff in this sort of uh, you know, darkness uh, 19 foot Just, just hitting 20 feet now. So like I say, we're getting pictures down to 20 foot. I think it's been a, a really good test. And the, the winch system, it does work. Um, a few more modifications to make to this system, uh, just to get it perfect. But, you know, I, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a quality product.